It is apple harvest time, and we have Rita and Don back on North Dakota today from the NDSU Extension Office. Thank you both for coming in. Thank you. Uh, we're going to talk a lot today because we have apple pie. I'm going to do some apple peeling. But first, we want to start with Don talking a little bit about apple varieties and uh, if now is the time to start picking your apples. Well, it is. And of course, North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota are just the heart of a wonderful apple growing region. The apples we can grow in our own backyards really rival anything imported from Washington, Oregon, or anywhere else. So we have wonderful varieties, and all of these apples were grown in backyards here, right in, oh, in the area. Okay. And for example, uh, the variety called Northern Lights. Look at the size of that, just a beautiful, huge apple, Northern Lights. And we even have one that rivals the Washington Golden Delicious. Uh, this is called Honey Gold. Uh, these were actually developed in uh, Minnesota and North Dakota. Uh, honey Gold, beautiful golden yellow apple. And these are fully winter hardy for our backyards. The garden centers sell trees of these, so good for planting. And of course, Honey Crisp, developed in Minnesota. Honey Crisp is quickly becoming one of the most popular apples uh, and we'll talk a little bit about uh, uh, what makes these so good but anyway honey crisp uh, fully hardy for backyard planting wonderful apple and now any apples can be used for almost anything you know you can take any apple and eat it fresh or you can take any apple and uh, cook with it or bake with it but different apples have qualities that make them better for okay. some things uh, for example the first three that i mentioned are wonderful for fresh eating or or for cooking uh, then we have one of the most popular apples for our area and that is called harrelson now harrelson fully winter hardy developed in 1922 in minnesota very popular across the region harrelson and it's one of the last ripening apples because as our fall temperatures get cooler, it favors the buildup of sugar within the apple. And one of the things that makes Harrelson so popular is it keeps and stores very well. It'll store in a refrigerator for at least five months. Oh, wow. Another thing that makes Harrelson uh, so very popular is that it's a wonderful App, uh, apple for pies or apple crisp uh, and the reason for that is it has a high solid content uh, the texture is very firm so when you use it in pies or apple crisp it maintains that texture it doesn't all turn into applesauce in, <laughs> within your pie so Harrelson and they also discovered a red mutation of Harrelson called Harrel Red so when you're shopping for apple trees at the garden center, you'll oftentimes see Harrell Red, which has the same great qualities as Harrelson, but the redder color. Now I thought it'd be interesting for you just to take a little bit of a taste okay. of some of these. <laughs> this is a pretty uh, safe taste test. Yeah. So first of all, we have a little sample of, this is the one called Northern Lights. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, next we have Honey, honey Gold. Have to eat these pretty fast. <laughs> and if you can't eat the whole, mm -hmm. whole thing, okay, yeah. And there's a little bit of honey crisp. I think honey crisp will probably be my favorite. We're giving you the tartest one. Mm. And then we have Harrelson. Now you might uh, notice that Harrelson <laughs> has a little more of a tang mm -hmm. to it, doesn't it? Uh, you're trying that not to pucker, <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. Now, Harrelson, of course, um, many people uh, uh, prefer that for baking, like I said, because it holds its texture well, uh, but the other apples are probably better for fresh eating. That tasted like a crab apple from my, my childhood. Sure, so, so exactly, but a wonderful pie and wonderfully hearty apple. Okay, before we uh, take a break and talk about making apple pie, if you do buy an apple tree, how long until you actually see it, you know, bearing fruit? Well, the nice thing is if you start with a five to six foot apple tree, which is common at garden centers, they will usually start bearing anywhere from three to five years, depending on huh? the variety. Um, so you might get a few apples after three years from planting and a reliable har uh, harvest usually in about five years. Okay. Well, we're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere because next we're going to talk about how you can make that smell so delicious, an apple pie. And uh, I'm even going to do a little apple peeling with a tool I've never used before. So stay with us.